welcome <laughs> happy birthdays happy birthdays my darling i hope you guys are doing good all right so gemini gemini gemini's it's going to be a lovely week gemini's this is the week of the stars so all who are having birthdays um from the 25th until the 31st congratulations this is going to be an excellent year for you it is just going to be dandy my darlings okay so um um be aware of this okay um it is going to be absolutely fabulous you have the energy of the star the star is a wonderful energy the star this is the energy of the year for you guys. So if you were born 25th of May till 31st of May, this is the energy for you guys. It's a really wonderful energy because what this energy does is that it creates a lot of uh, um, opening. It's a yes. It's a year of yes. Whatever you decide to do is yes. Go ahead okay and it is going to be absolutely fabulous because no matter what comes in your way you're going to be able to cope with everything and it's as if whatever blockages there was is going to be opening up and i see um wonderful positive energies coming in okay so um it's a beautiful year I see a love is a lot of love is going to be offered to you guys so um it is absolutely fabulous okay uh life is full of surprises ladies and gentlemen but we are going to be working with those things um those surprising things okay all righty let's get into your reading so this is the year solar year right after your birthday the day after your birthday right back up mm, it's going to be showing you the energies there's a lot of love coming in for you gemini's whatever is transpiring okay so 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 let's see what is happening i'm gonna change you uh, you guys up don't know why all right so what we have here is that we have the energy of the eye princess secrets secrecy information secrecy things that you weren't aware of information so people who are born on the 25th you're dealing with a water energy and it has to do with secrets unknowing things that is going to be transpiring and happening for you guys okay so how this is going to be affecting you it, it changes for each and every person so things that you were not aware of is just going to be happening and opening up for you guys so um we are going to be looking at um how this is going to affect you guys and um so we start off by realizing that it's over information it's over things that was kept from you okay and um this information whatever it is is going to be helping you guys to heal whatever the issue and the situation is so that is good so the eye princess have a message information thoughts um this could be that you're going to be receiving information that you was not aware of um this could be from your spirit guides i see some of you 617 opportunities is going to be coming in so that is good emotionally it is good but it is situation about your partner so if you were born on the 25th a situation about your partner or a contract some information it is going to affect people um, who have relationship with Aquarian um, if you're married to an Aquarian in a relationship with an Aquarian it's going to be affecting the, the scorpions and it's going to affect in the cancer people it's going to be bad for the cancer people because whatever you find out about the cancer people it's um going to be um not that good okay so some regrets for some cancers out there if you're in a relationship with a cancer i see some regrets could be coming up for you and this person okay 
So. Oh, 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 mental. So, um, oh, I hate this. I think my cards got wet, do you know? And then they start sticking. Yeah, there's a lot of mental things that is going on. Um, so whatever the situation is, oh my God, I hate this. I think I, I had to use them with water, um, someplace with water. So the strangest thing that is going to be happening is that some unexpected stuff event is going to be coming out. And whatever these unexpected event is, it's going to be affecting some of you mentally. It could be a relationship, partner's relationship that is going to be happening and transpiring. And you can see um, these energies that is coming out. Something about your partner, some information, some weird um, discerning of, of things that is going to be transpired. And it's going to bring you, some of you, it's going to bring you clarity. Some of you, you're going to be like, Jesus, I wish I had known this earlier. Okay, so worries. So I see um, some of you are dealing with this Aquarian at the workplace, or it has something to do with some work, worried about your work or someone at the workplace that you're going to be dealing with. So be aware of this, because this is like really um, weird. Okay, so um, be aware of what is uh, um, really coming up. And it has to do with if you are in the legalities corporation. So this is definitely work. So a lot of you are worried about a corporation, institution, work. However, this is coming up. It could be that you are finishing off your thesis study. However, this is coming up. You're worried about what is going to be transpiring for you in your world. So be aware of that. Then we look at the seven of cups and I see a lot of celebration. So this is good. These are happy moments that is going to be coming up for you guys. And this is going to be really wonderful and positive. And it has to do with uh, um, money. Okay. So yeah, it has to do with money. So there is some happy moments that is going to be coming up for you guys. And it has to do with money. However, this is happening and transpiring. This is going to be good. It's going to be positive. It's going to be a positive alignment of energies. Um, positive situation is going to be coming up. I see you celebrating. Okay. And it is positive because it has to do with money. Then we see the two of cups reverse and I see a lot of jealousy that is going to be coming at you guys. And this jealousy is coming from a scorpion, whoever the scorpion is and whatever is transpiring in your world. I see this deceptiveness and jealousy that is going to be coming up. It has to do with a scorpion. Whoever the scorpion is, whatever is transpiring, is this a hex? Have you moved on? It is your biggest enemy. So be aware of this. So a lot of you Geminis have to be aware of a, um, a cancer. Some really horrible jealousness from a cancer that is going to be coming at you and you have to be aware of this because this person is your enemy okay so let's look at your number and then we're going to be moving on so we see that you guys have two eight five three seven seven so a lot of you are going to be on the right part and two okay so however that is transpiring Let's move forward. Whoever born the 26, you have the energy of justice. This is wonderful. This is positive. The energy of justice, this is an air style. You're going to be bringing balance into your world for the people who were born on the 26. It's going to be a wonderful alignment of energy. However, this is coming up for you. It is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous because this is the um, year of... Um, this is the year of the hair sign for you guys because you have the ear, the ear of uh, um, the star plus justice. So this is good. So whatever it issues, legal issues you have, it is going to be good. Along with that, um, this is wonderful because you have the the energy of uh, um, the four of uh, 
of Wands. The Four of Wands is a very strong energy, stability. Um, some of you could be buying a house. Uh, money is going to be coming in. Some of you could buy, be buying a house. Money is going to be coming in and love is going to be coming in. So, 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 guys. So, new start in love, new start with money. Um, new start with long-term stability. You're going to be creating long-term stability in your world. It's going to be absolutely fabulous. However, you're looking at this year. This year is going to be a wonderful year of a lot of success that is going to be coming in and this is going to be extremely good some of you are going to be buying new house some of you could be winning the lottery some of you could be getting pregnant some of you could be meeting a new love some of you could be getting married this is looking good new business contracts could be coming in so I see um, um, positive alignment of energy where is uh, um, for you guys who were born on the 26th this is looking absolutely fabulous um, especially when it comes to house um, I see a lot of money so some of you are definitely going to be buying a house whatever the issue is um, if you were thinking about buying a house um, a house you're going to be um, capable to buy a house so that is good um, then I see no more um, financial hardship is coming up which is good and with love I see a lot of your choosing um, uh, money over relationship um, some of you could be finding the right person the twin flame this is the energy of the twin flame relationship that is coming up so this is good so let's see with the house yes unexpected surprise with the house so this is good I see some of you um, some of you might not even been thinking about buying a house unexpectedly I see an unexpected surprise of money is going to be coming in for a house um, some of you unexpectedly could be receiving a house or unexpectedly um, a house is uh, turned over to you because of some deceptive play that was um, transpired so really wonderful energy for you people who were um, um, born on the 26th then we have a new start no more hardship new love is coming in um, some of you this is a new baby um, is going to be coming in or grandchild um, but new love is coming in whatever the issue and the situation is new love is coming in for you men money is going to be looking good if some of you men were having financial issues and financial problem money is going to be very very good in this year so this is wonderful and this is positive because it is um, a change for you guys whatever is transparent especially when it comes on to your financial situation it is going to be a huge huge change that is going to be coming up for you guys and it's going to be absolutely absolutely wonderful and you're on the, the right track so for your numbers there is four six four nine um one five one uh ten ten of pentacles so um whatever is transpiring for you people that is um born the 26th it's going to be a fab fab fabulous year okay a really fabulous year um for you guys so whatever is transpiring it's going to be good let's move on to the people who were born on the 27th you have a hair energy this is good this is going to be really a good year for you guys so people who are born um, on the 27th you have the energy of the magician and this carries you carry this energy um, of the magician so this is good um, yes you carry the energy of the magician so you're being guided by your own energy vibration in this year and this is going to be good um, so whatever happens whatever problem whatever situation whatever problems with family heartbreaks is going to be over with family and I see new love is going to be coming in okay so the magician comes to help you out with family issue and relationship issue so whatever issue that was going on with a family whatever problems whatever um, issue that needs to be resolved however this was happening and transpiring it's going to be absolutely absolutely fabulous because I see um, the heartbreaks is going to be over with family and whatever the issue and the situation is uh, um, we see that the heartbreaks is going to be over and that is really wonderful and positive so whatever issue is coming up with family people people who you see has your family I see um, the lies 
that was in the family, the deceptive play that was in the family, um, the information that wasn't true that has to do with a young lady. I see that this is all coming out. So whoever this, um, you young ladies be aware um, because you're going to be finding out some family secrets, information that you were not aware of uh, with the family. So there is a lot that is going to be coming out for you young ladies, especially um, young ladies, young unmarried ladies. There's a lot of information you're going to be finding out about the family in this year, okay? So be aware of that information, 10, 10, 10. So it's a lot of information is going to be coming out um, about the family. So I see heartbreaks is over, but there's a lot of worries. Okay, so whatever. Yeah, whatever is going on, heartbreaks is over, but there is a lot of worries. You got to be aware. But the cycle for the heartbreak is just now over. Okay, so whoever was going through heartbreaks, I see the cycle of heartbreaks is going to be over. I see a message is coming in. I see truths will be reveal about whatever that was kept from you. So heartbreaks is now over. The cycle is now over. You're moving on. Whatever um, that was kept from you, you're going to be finding out. Information is going to be coming to you, letting you know that a cycle is over. Uh, I see the energy of love is coming in. Okay. Um, I see... Um, you guys love is really coming in um and a lot of you are going to be looking for love okay love could be coming knocking on your door and it could be a soulmate twin flame but definitely love is going to be coming knocking on your door i see people or you um you know really looking for love however this is i see a lot of love is going to be offered to you guys so this is absolutely wonderful and beautiful so be aware of the situation because love is here and this is a year that you can find love. So um, be um, be open to love into your life because this is definitely going to be good. So you have twice then you have um, the, the end of a cycle and a new cycle is going to be beginning, especially for people in love. However, that is coming up, whoever you are. Um, this is a new cycle that is going to be beginning in love for you guys. Okay, so let's move forward. And for the people who were born on um, uh, 25, 26, 27, 28, we have the energy of the devil. Now, a lot of disturbance in your relationship is going to be coming up. Okay, um, things that you were not aware of. And you're trying to protect yourself and protect your financial stability. So what is coming up for you people that was born on the 28th is that there is information that is going to be coming in and you're going to be finding out a lot of stuff that you weren't aware of about your partner and that your partner has been holding back. Um, so it says uh, um, there was a lot of money that your partner had got and, and never um, let you know and has been holding it out. And you're going to be finding out about it. And uh, um, you are going to be protecting yourself and your financial stability. So this is kind of a rare, weird reading. And I do understand um, because what is happening here and transpiring is that what we're seeing is that um and the message it has to do with your your partner someone who you're married to um it could be family members but it's coming up as uh, your partner okay so what i'm seeing is that the energy of of the devil is here and it's, it's as if um there is some um do you know you can be in a relationship but your partner has negative forces with them, okay? Um, so it, it's kind of weird. They have negative forces with them, and it's kind of weird. Hold on, because I think it's me, or it is just very, very dark in here, okay? So, yeah, you're going to be finding out 
that your partner has some weird things um your, your, your partner hold negative um uh, negative energies around you and they're hiding something okay they're hiding something it's as if they know something and they're hiding something so be aware but you're going to be receiving help in order to remove yeah yeah they're hiding something whatever is transpiring your partner is hiding something um yes the energy of the devil so you have twice the energy of the devil that you're dealing with so people who are born on the 28th in this year you got to be aware of it and i see relationships could be ending okay because um um and you're going to be successfully finding out whatever your partner holds against you because it's going to come out okay so you're going to be successfully finding out what your partner holds against you because it's definitely going to be coming out whatever it is or was it is going to be coming out and it's as if some of you are going to be finding out that whatever your partner bring with him or her is affecting your life okay and i see you're going to be finding that out and you're going to be removing yourself or just removing yourself away six of wands i see um lies um i see deceptiveness i see um you're going to be finding out that someone was holding something against you or um a theft that could have taken place and you're going to be finding this out i see that you're going to be realizing um some of you if you were sick why you were sick and how this happened so it's just a, like a strange things especially all the people it's just a strange things that is happening it's, it's a negative force it's negative energies um that you need to release yourself off okay and and cleanse yourself off but i see a lot of you are going to be overcoming whatever the situation is because it's very deceptive so i see um uh, I see um, someone in your life is going to go to jail um, because of the theft of a whole lot of money. Um, so whoever this and whatever is transpired now, um, because this is a general reading, it's not a personalized reading, but someone in your life is going to go to jail because of a huge theft of a whole lot of money, a huge theft that has transpired. And this person is going to end up in jail okay so whoever this is for be aware of this or you could be finding it out about someone else or it could be a family member however this is um, there is a lot that is going on okay so um, I see that um, and this is a very deceptive person whoever this person is very 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 deceptive so I see whatever is transpiring around you you're definitely going to be seeing the deceptiveness of people around you and then you are going to be able um, to protect yourself okay because it's as if uh, there is a form of uh, just pure deceptiveness that is around you and it has to do with people that you're in a relationship with so your numbers is eight two four six six twice six the energy of the devil twice jesus <laughs> <laughs> but you're releasing this in this year okay you're really releasing this in this year whoever has tried to work against you they're going to be caught okay so let's look at the people who were born on the 29th we have the energy of the hermit and with the energy of the hermit is showing you something that you weren't aware of okay so some information is going to be coming up and it's showing you something about uh, um your boss or um your mom and information that is going to be coming out uh, and it has to do with the the queen of swords so you ladies are going to be finding out something about your sister your mother your sister-in-law whoever this person is a taurus virgo or a capricorn or your boss so um let's take a look and see i see communication is going to be clearly so um what we're seeing here is that um some information is going to be coming out about 
either your boss or a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person, I see they are going to be communicating very clearly to you. Okay. However, this is transpiring. This is someone 50 years and older, and it's going to be affecting most of the ladies 50 years and older, or this could be your mom or some issue that is coming up. But I see truths are coming out about this person. I see some of you are going to be realizing that this person, um, you, you know, you could dis dislike this person. I see that you're going to be wanting to work with this person. I don't think they want to work with you. Um, I see the energy of the seven of ones. You're trying to stand your ground against uh, um, you ladies are going to be standing your grounds in this year. However, this is coming up, but I see that um, some of you want to reconnect with a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn person. This person do not want to reconnect with you. Okay. Um, you see this person as a friend, but I think you have done something to this person that this person is holding you off. And I think it's better to let it go um, because this person, um, whoever this person is, this person has closed themselves off from you. And you are trying to, uh, you know, some of you see this person as your enemy, but this could be a mother figure. Some of you see this person as your friend enemy, but you it's as if this person is saying look at yourself um you know what have you done look at yourself what you have done to me why would you think that i want to reconnect so however this is happening and transpire some of you could see this person as a good friend okay i see that some of you the truth is going to be coming out that some of you had taken some money that was not for you. It was for the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person. And I see truths are going to be coming in that you collaborated with other people. So however this is coming up, this person could be telling you that you um, that you have um, this wealth, but I see they're going to be finding out something. I see this person is kind of coming back to you and um, some of you could want to apologize to someone in your life. However, this is transpiring. Some of you miss a friend, a good friend, a sister. However, this is coming up and transpiring. Some of you could miss a friend, a good friend, or a sister. And um, I see that you're trying to um, reconnect with this person, okay? So there is a lot that is going on, uh, really a lot for you guys. Um, and it has to do with other people in your lives and your financial stability. And I see um, communication is going to be the key for you guys, especially I see that some of you wants to um, reconnect with um, people and communication because you want, it's as if you want to create uh, abundance in your world, however, this is transpiring. So be aware, your numbers is 18, 3, and um seven eighteen three and seven um there is a lot of people that you have to deal with a lot of friendships a lot of situations you have to deal with so be aware of that okay so we're moving on to the people who were born on the 30th you you have the energy of the star this is a wonderful energy this is the energy of the year you people who were born on the 30th has the energy of the star. Congratulations. Now, the energy of the star, this is going to be a powerful year for you, not only spiritually, mentally, but it's going to be connecting you. Whatever your wishes and dreams is, is going to be a reality in this year. So congratulations to the people who were who are celebrating on the 30th of May. I see a lot of opportunities is going to be coming up. Whoever is studying, I see... Um, um, a lot of opportunities are going to be studied and whoever is studying, whoever have kids, I see money flowing. I see a lot of people are going to be going back to study and that sort of a thing. A lot of opportunities, a lot of opportunities that have to do with financial situation is going to be opening up for you guys. If you're studying, if you want to study, if you want to go back to study, um, your business, you're going to be creating a lot of wealth around you. And this is going to be very wonderful and very positive. So however, this is happening and transpiring, this is um, really, really, really going to be a positive year um, when it comes on to opportunities in your world. Okay. So whatever is transpiring, when you're, 
well, whatever happens, especially when it comes on to opportunities in your world, it is going to be good. Okay. I don't know people what's happening. So, um, yes. So I see the end of uh, situations is going to be coming up, especially emotional situation end of emotional situations. Um, then I see, um, some of you young ladies who are studying, you regret as, as if you pass, but you wanted a higher score. So people who are studying, you do pass the six and two, eight, you do pass, but it's as if you wanted a higher score. So that's going to be, and I see you have a devil energy that comes up, which is a very strange. Um, and this has to do with the Knight of Pentacles. And this is, um, money flowing in your life. This is finding the opportunities. This is a career. This is the movement, the changes in career. Some of you, yes. Some of you know, some of you are stuck. Some of you wants to leave a situation and move forward. Some of you wants to change career, wants to change job. And this is going to be happening for you. So however, because you have twice the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So however this is coming up, it has to do with career, anything to do with money. I see some of you in a relationship with someone overseas, whoever this person is, whatever that was transpiring, you decide to end a relationship with another person from another race or another country. However, this is coming up. I see you're going to be happily ending that relationship. I see service. And this is what I was saying about people. Um, you regret something. Um, you could be in service or you're going to be um, applying to be in service. However, this is transpiring. I see that you regret something because the energy of uh, um, emotions, but it is not yet over. Um, whatever the study is or the service, maybe some of you have to go back to service, but this is that I see that some of you could be changing um, your job in order to be of service to humanity. So um, that is um, good. Then I see... Um, Hold the women, you're worried about your financial situation. So women 60 years and older or women on a whole could be worried about their career, their financial stability, how that is going to be going, what is transpiring, what is happening. However, this is happening and transpiring. I see that uh, a whole lot of you are worried because of some um, issues. Um, is it issues or you're going to be um, trying to figure out how to balance out your financial world. So I see this, these energies that is coming up for you guys. So they're going to be all yield. Okay. So it's as if these are situations that could affect your life, but I see them also healing your life in um, ways. So you have seven, six, seven, um, another eight. And, um, that's it. Oh my God. So the energies, um, your spirit guides are going to be coming in and helping you. Let's look at the people who are born on the 31st. I see you're seeing the truth. The energy and the stars seeing the truth is as if a spiritual awakening is a year that you're going to be going within. It's a year that you're going to be connecting with the spirit world. You're going to be seeing the truth. You're going to be connected at a high energy. You're going to be balancing out a lot of uh, situation. Things you weren't seeing in the past is going to be coming in the future. I see you're looking for a new start and this is going to be happening. It is a year. I see the energy of uh, um, a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion. So this could be a mother figure that is going to be coming up. I see your burdens is going to be um, um, ending because of some issues. And I see your parents could be helping you um, to hand whatever your burdens is. Um, whoever wants to move forward, I see this energy is going to be coming up. And you are going to be having help in order um, to move forward. So um, this is um, absolutely fabulous. This is good. Um, it is really, really positive. So you have three and 10 in reverse. Your burdens are going to be over. Okay. Three and 10 reverse. Your burdens is going to be over. So I see some of you are dealing with a, um, 
Aries Leo or Sagittarius whoever this person is whatever is transpiring you're dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius could be your mom you're seeing the truth of this person I see a Pisces cancer scorpion woman 50 years or older could be having a new chance and uh, um, wants to have a new chance I see the ten of ones the ten of ones your burden is going to be over and I see new star is coming in so this is a year where if you were married to these ladies um, Aries or a Pisces cancer or scorpion um, some of you could be having a new start with your mom whether your mom is your mom is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn whoever your mom is and whatever that was happening and transpiring I see information is going to be coming in to a whole lot of you that your burdens is over if you have people that has passed over in the spirit world I see they're going to be coming through and helping you guys so, so it is a wonderful wonderful energy now I see some discussion I see um, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius there is some discussion with this Aries Leo or Sagittarius whoever this person is I see a lot of discussion um, so a lot of you are going to be in some discussion with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius is coming up as an um, a, a, a Aries 50 years and older a lot of discussion is going to be coming up now for some of you who are dealing with a Pisces cancer scorpion this person could have been your boss or a close associates or someone who you were connected with I see a new start is going to be coming up this person is going to be offering you or you are going to be given a new start so let's say that you were in service and you left the company I see this person is going to be calling you up and asking you to help them out um, in order to resolve some issues there's a lot of mother um, mother child issues that is going to be resolved um, a lot of mother child issues that is going to be resolved and what I'm seeing that is coming in and transpiring is that whoever the spices cancer or scorpion woman is it could be a mother figure and she wants a new start now I see information some false information false people I see some of you are going to be finding out that a uh, Sagittarius is very false whether the Sagittarius is and whatever is transpiring you're going to be finding out that a Sagittarius is very false I see that you're going to be finding out some information that is going to come in that is going to show the deceptiveness uh, um, and um, you're going to be finding out that a lot of people around you have been very very false and haven't been very um, honest okay so this is going to be a good year that you're going to be seeing these people so remember use the timestamp and if you'd like a birthday reading it's not too late because it goes from this year until next year it is good to have a birthday reading because then you know everything that is going to be affecting you remember these are general readings and don't forget you need to cross watch and also watch the weekly readings I want to say thank you for being here. Namaste until next time.